Welcome back, my Drew's Boots, the Drew's Boots Kingdom. You guys, it's been a minute. I've had so many life changes. Um, hmm. I don't have the energy right now to discuss why I've been gone for so long. Those of you that have followed me on Instagram know my whole journey and where I'm at at this point. Um, it's been a lot. My world has changed upside down. I'm no longer the Drew you used to know. I'm a whole new Drew. Um, so we have moved into one of our other properties. My uh, family has always had multiple homes in multiple cities. Um, we sold one of our other homes um, that we lived in. Um, and now moved into our home, another home my parents have had for over 30 years, um, 35 years or so. Um, so it's, it's just clean walls, white, basic. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the place. I don't know how I'm gonna restore, revamp it, um, redo it because there's other real estate investments and things that we're focused on right now. Um, so I make a little dull. But anyways, like I said, I promise you I'm gonna get to the deeper video and why my life has changed. Those of you that don't know because you don't follow me on Instagram um, later. But today we gotta have some fun, honey. I have a lot, even more deeper stuff going on in my life, but I just need to focus on fun right now and get into unboxing this beautiful black ebony masterpiece right here. And it's gonna make you guys, if you have a basic Togo, basic black and gold, black and silver, and just throw them bitches away. Because honey, this right here, the iconic, so black Birkin. So I wanted you guys to know, I no longer work with my old essay. Um, so many things happen that for me as an influencer, I will never direct you guys in the wrong way because everything changed. Quality, communication, time, so much stuff changed. And I had a lot of complaints and I stopped. Someone else reached out to me, they promised me some stuff. And of course, I'm gonna do my due diligence. And this is the first product that I got. Now, because I don't work with my old essay anymore, I know that I'm not gonna be dependent on one person. So I actually went and have made purchases with two people that I felt the safest with, that I felt the, I felt the most comfortable with, that um, made me wanna spend my money. And so I've ordered this one from a different sales associate from another part of the world. And I also got this from a second sales associate from another part of the world to compare the price, quality, lead time, um, communication, all that, because once one person just feel like they that bitch, honey, they think they're untouchable. And what I realized, honey, I, everybody's replaceable, you know, even me. So um, I'm going to do an in-depth review on both sales associates. So let's get into the unboxing. So this one comes from a seller in Malaysia, a sales associate that reached out to me and they're Malaysian based and um, I'm excited to see. Hunty, good, good sturdy quality, honey. Good sturdy quality, deliver Hermes quality. Let's see what we got. We got the little so black booklet with the special so black you know information and cards so jean paul gaultier this is one of his last contributions to him as the creative director of hermes so we have the baby here ah! and the usual little stuff rain jacket rain protection lock and key Yes, so let's see the baby, honey. Let's see the so black baby, baby. Woo, honey, it 
It is a so black Birkin 30, honey. this purchase because I was like should I get a 35 because I feel just how black slims you I feel like black bags could look even smaller on you and especially I'm a six foot tall person I'm like will this look even smaller because it's just pure pure black and I was like should I get a 35 but honestly I'm really not big into 35 Birkins because they get too freaking heavy and you would think this is light it ain't that light, honey. You would think this is a lighter leather, but it's not that light. And to me, this is box calf leather, so it is prone to scratching. And when things are bigger and they have more mass and more of a circumference, it's easier to be knocking it and bumping it against stuff. So I was like, I would rather feel comfortable getting a So Black Birkin 30 because it's small, it's containable. It is, I'm able to protect it more. So also I felt that if I'm going to go evening, I want a bag that no matter if I wear gold jewelry, silver jewelry, you know, gold frame glasses, black frame glasses, whatever, that is going to match. And that's why for me, I'm over the Togo Birkins. Um, I would just wear the Togo. I'm cool with my Togo Birkin 35 for casual and beating it up and I don't really care about it and I don't care about it losing its structure but the good thing about box calf it does keep its structure very well because it is a treated leather when their leathers are treated and basically they compress the leather they they iron the leather it creates a structure because of the heat and the chemicals and all kind of stuff it just creates a a structure so when you look at epson it's going to keep a structure you look at box calf it's going to keep a structure ostrich because they iron the pimples down it's going to keep a structure so this is a very good evening bag dressy bag also what i prefer about the so black compared to the togo is that this box cast has like a little shine to it. And shine obviously means more elegant, obviously means more dressy compared to this dullness. Um, yeah, compared to this dullness, which is, um, you know, basic. It's a basic bitch bag. This is just beautiful and striking. Let's open her up. Let's open the baby up. I like to be very careful with box calf because um, of its delicacy, of its, of its delicateness. But here she is with the shadow stamp of, you know, just being black. Um, the beauty about this shadow stamp is that Yes, when you get gold and silver foiled stamps, they can fade, they wear away, you know, just with wear and tear. But because this is pressed in and it's black, it's never gonna fade. It's never gonna have to be spied or treated. Um, it's just, you know, a gorgeous, fabulous bag. And I'm so honored to have added to my collection. And as you can see, what look better with the outfit? This so black or the basic slouchy togo with gold. 
the So Black wins every time. I'm just so grateful that I have been able to help many of you guys get So Black Birkins, So Black Kellys from a previous essay. Guess what I got, honey? Yes. This is a bag, right? And he gave me some goodies. He gave me, so I ordered this, obviously. So black, beautiful. He gave me these. Look how cute. I love that. And he gave me the this wallet for free. How cute is this wallet? It's like gorgeous. I love this color. Um Now we back with a new essay, honey, and the price is actually cheaper. And I'm so glad that you guys can see you can have it too. You don't gotta listen to these dumbass games, this dumbass bullshit, or what people say about oh this, oh that. If you didn't get it from the da, da, da. girl, fuck that. We don't give a damn where the fuck the bag came from. We care about when you wear it, how do it look? When you fucking walk in this, when you walk into the event, when you walk into the party, when you walk and walk down the carpet, you create a show. How did the bag look? We don't give a fuck where it came from, if the box came clean, if the box came damaged, obviously see the box and everything came clean there. But you guys, I would always go so black, especially when you're blessed to have an essay like mine, and you can get whatever you want, any skin you want, any hardware you want, brush gold, brush silver, um, you know, palladium, all go, you know, diamond, whatever. When you're so blessed to get what you want, always go for the so black because it will go with anything and everything and it ain't no basic bitch bag it just simply is not a basic bitch bag it's just so clean and it's so perfect an upcoming video i'm going to teach you guys how to authenticate a so black birkin because there are a lot of dead giveaways that is so small only if you owned a so black could you know um, a dead giveaway? You guys, I'm so glad to get a Soul Black back because I made, actually, I didn't make a foolish decision. Um, I got my Soul Black for around, I got a Soul Black uh, Birkin 35 and I got it for around, hmm, I want to say, I don't remember. It was like 2010. I want to say like $10,000, $9,000 mm. with tax and everything. It was like in the nine, $10,000 range when you was able to just walk up in the store and just get one. I bought my So Black. I walked into the store like five months later. This lady was getting her bag service. It's actually the South Coast Plaza Hermes location. This lady was getting her bag service and she said, do you want to sell it? And I was like, no, 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 I don't want to sell it. She said, I will give you $35,000 for your bag. And you know, back then, that's a whole lot. That's like, I can get three of them. You know, I mean, not knowing that these are going to be so limited. Um, they actually made them limited because of some defects that they had. Hermes makes mistakes, honey. <laughs> honey, they ain't God, honey. This stuff ain't made from Jesus' skin and the thread ain't made out of his hair. Okay, sweetie, it's just a cow and it's just some thread, honey. They make mistakes, honey. And they discontinue the bag. But I sold my baby for 35000 now I'm seeing them go for like 60, 50, you know, $70,000. So I could even make more, you know. But you know, young, I'm not gonna say dumb. I still came up, um, but I regretted it. Because I'm just like, these basic, you know how I feel about a basic bitch bag. You know how I feel about a basic bitch bag. But to be able to get my baby back at such a low price, I could be more carefree because I'm not worried about bumping it and all this kind of stuff. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, I paid so much money. No, I ain't tripping. You know, whatever. Anything happened to this, I ain't tripping. It is what it is. Um, but I'm so glad to have this baby back in my life. And honestly, I don't think I'll ever let her go. The only way I'll let her go is if I get a Nilotikus So Black Birkin 30 or an Alligator So Black Birkin 30. Um, Yeah. And the reason why I went with a Birkin 30 instead of a Kelly um, So Black is that the Kelly So Blacks do not come with a strap. For me, I prefer Kelly's only because of functionality. 
But when it comes to aesthetically pleasing, I always feel that the Birkin is more aesthetically pleasing than a Kelly. So the fact that Kelly's do not come with a strap, I just opted to get a so black Birkin 30 because it's more functional to just throw your stuff in. You don't gotta worry about opening and closing it and keeping it latched, you know, down. And also because of the weight disparity and the support with only this little toggle thing right here being to support the Kelly strap, it just made sense that I would go with the Birkin. And the Birkin is more secure as far as the way you could like strap it up. But honestly, for me, the easiest way I'm gonna carry my bag is just like this. Because even if it's not fully closed, I think that this aesthetic just looks more cool. You know, with the flap closed and the little things just dangling, it's a semi-closed look and it just gives the prestige of the Birkin still compared to, you know, leaving it open like this. I just think it's a little bit more basic. Um, it looks a little bit more plain. I will not use the lock and key. I will not put this on there because when it comes to treating So Black Birkins and the hardware, because it is delicate, I don't feel comfortable with this banging around, scratching around other pieces of hardware. Also, we do know that this is a delicate skin and that if it does rub, it could create scratches, dents and all that. So to me, it's just not worth it. I won't be using this. I won't be carrying this. I will just be keeping this in the box. Coming up next in the next video, I will be unboxing this beautiful Hermes item that I got from a second essay. I'm going to compare quality. I'm going to look back at my uh, communication with this person. Did I feel who communicated the best? Who do I feel delivered the best price? Who do I feel delivered the best quality? Who do I feel um, shipped the fastest and you know was just easiest? Please like and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to get all the details of daily wear, daily use, daily experiences that, you know, I don't really share as much on YouTube and because I don't have time to really just document stuff and post it up on YouTube and look at my TikToks that are very entertaining, very informal, very fun. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much. Bye.